Hi guys. I wanted to say something about becoming a vessel and allowing um, expression to come through us. Because more and more I find that I actually don't really get to choose what comes through me. And it's a little, it can be a bit destabilizing when we start to allow things to come through and we see that it's quite different from the personality that we kind of feel like we had before that we built up. Um, and we kind of see that we, it's, it's in a way choiceless what, what we are here to communicate, what we are here to inspire. Um, and in my case, what, what I've been seeing more and more is that there is a theme that comes through me that has to do with life force, with you know, energy, with, uh, with connecting everything that is human. Well, you know, it's, it's the, the lower chakras, the animal nature, and, and the heart chakra and the solar plexus, which is the, the emotions and the, and the human nature. And then, of course, the higher planes where we have, where we have the third eye and the intuition and, and the connection to all that that is and also our ability to create in our own lives and and it seems that what wants to come through me and, and be expressed through me has a lot to do with that with a human being that really embraces all these you know three natures we could say and also the whole pillar of, of the chakra pillar and it actually even makes one chakra so it's like one unified chakra through the body and not different like seven different centers and when i listen to myself i i sometimes feel even um surprised what's coming through when i'm in flow and when i'm not concentrated from my brain what i'm going to say what comes through me many times can even surprise me. Um, and that's what, where I realized that when, I, when we don't prepare, like I don't prepare the videos I do, for example, or I don't prepare what to say if I work with a client. And what comes through when I'm, when I'm grounded in my body and when I speak from my heart and not from my mind, what comes through is so much more powerful. And I could feel this weekend as I was, you know, I was kind of in a circle with other people and, and what, what, what I was uh, contributing to the group had a lot to do with life force, with sexuality, with how to, how to understand how that's an integral part of us and how to live that out in a way that is nurturing, in a way that is healthy, if you want, and into also how that's connected with the higher, with the more subtle bodies. Um, and I, I never chose to be that, like, you know, my, my background, what I studied or what I kind of thought my message was to the world was something completely different. Um, and, and yet I realized that when I let go and when I let whatever wants to express through me express, it always, almost always has that aspect to it. It's always there. And there is a kind of, there is a kind of care about it. There's a kind of energy that is quite intense that actually wants this to be said. So there's something about, there's an acceptance in, in seeing, you know, what are you a vessel for? What are you a guardian for? What is your message here? And, and oftentimes it's probably not what you thought. In my case, in human design, I have a very, very defined G center. The G center has to do with identity, uh, with direction and with you know knowing what love is, not needing to look for any of this outside of yourself. And you could you would think that when you have that very defined, you're born like already knowing. And the thing is that the heart already knows, the inner wisdom already knows. But when we're interfering with the mind and when we're going to school and when we're going to you know university and specializations and paying for programs and stuff you know it's easy with a mind to think that that's what we're here to to share that's what we're here to teach that's what we're here to be a role model for but when we come back and we let the mind go and we come back to that g center that heart um then there's probably a completely different message that wants to be shared with the world and pro probably also a completely different way that it comes out through uh so 
an invitation to, to just allow that to be in flow and see what comes through you and not be embarrassed and not be, you know, not judge that because the genius comes from, I feel like the genius comes from that flow when we're completely not concentrated on what we're going to say, what we're going to share, what we're going to do. And then it just becomes a dance and that's our expression. It doesn't even have to be words. For me, it's a lot about the energy, you know, the, the energy I have in my, in my hands when I touch somebody, the energy my body emanates, that's probably more powerful to share than actually listening to me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something that I'm, I'm, I'm continuing to explore. And, and when we don't make space for, for that kind of, of, of natural, um, spontaneous is the word I'm looking for, the spontaneous expression, this can be completely lost. So when we are busy with our minds trying to do something, a profession or having a discourse, you know, then we, we often even block the, the wisdom, the inner knowing that is there and the part of us that wants to express something. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs>